Sure. Okay. Uh, I didn't set this up properly. Okay. There we go. That's a little better. So Jason said... Icarus. Medusa Angels? Yes. So, word on the game facts is this game's terrible. Oh! Oh no! Haha! -ha. Oh no! Oh no! I'm pretty sure if this wasn't an invincibility cheat, we'd be dead. Man, these little guys have the move speeds. Oh. I have not watched his Kid Icarus playthrough. I'll admit that. Not ashamed. I mean... It looks... Like an NES game, I mean... <laughs> what do you want from it? But we're under the impression this is trash. Unless, of course, you're wearing a poncho. And identifying as a Filipino. Then it's great. Anybody who has no idea what I'm talking about, check out Electric Leftovers. I don't remember what he called the episode. But it's the one that came out on the 21st of December, 2017. <gasps> goodies! I don't think I can buy goodies. Oh, I can! Oh, I've got a thing. I don't know what any of this is. Alright, whatever. Ta ha! Let's go up. Cause this game's all about going up and it's super boring. Worst game ever. I don't know if I'm too keen on the uh, music for this stage. <laughs> I mean, it sounds spooby enough, so there you go. Oh, did I lose my invincibility when I bought the, uh, the mallet thing? Oh, and the mallet's gone. Okay. I might have ruined the, uh, invincibility cheat when I, uh, purchased item. Oh, how in the blue blazes are you supposed to get up there? Oh. Uh. Okay. No idea. More on that later. We're not going to be playing this very long. <laughs> Mainly because I have no idea what I'm doing. Since this is supposed to be like Metroid-y, 
probably would uh, behoove a person to know what they're doing, you know what I'm saying? Just like a Metroid. So, oh, I guess we do have infinite health here. I do like the metroid -y story. Oh, this character's name is Icarus, by the way, in case you didn't know. Just like Bruce Willis once played a character named Die Hard. Didn't know if you knew that's what his character's name was. But that's the title of the movie, so it must be the character's name. Just like the uh, awesome character named Resident Evil. Didn't know if you knew. He can punch boulders, I hear. Well, actually, his name's Resident. The girl's name is Evil. Didn't know if you knew. Oh, oh God. I mean, like, yeah, it's... It's an NES game. Sure we is. There we go. I mean, the controls aren't too bad as I fail a jump, but I still got platforming anyway. Ew. I thought the, the pillar, like, blocked it. So, for an NES game, though, the graphics are pretty good. You should, uh, check out the Rocketeer <laughs> if you don't uh, believe these are good graphics for an NES game. Oh, see, that's what he was talking about. Ducking under enemies and just falling. Well, it's nice they have that. Oh, that's what he was talking about. Yep. We are learning things. Uh, does this fix me? No. I don't know how to fix this. Does that fix me? No. Oh, well, maybe it does. Interesting, though. Yeah, I could see where the black background would get kind of meh. Oh, thanks, lady. But, again, an NES game. Mario just had a light blue black background. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want from your NES viewers? Ugh. Now, we didn't have this game growing up, obviously. Um. But... I don't know. I mean, for me, it's like... I like to know where to go. Unless it doesn't seem pretty intuitive to where to go. So, I mean, that's where I would have problem with it, but... You know, I do like Zelda, and Zelda doesn't tell you where to go, so... Oh no! Do I have to deal with these guys? Ooh! I don't want to deal with them, they're scary. Wait, I'm invincible. I can't shoot through platforms. I can do that though. 
Oh no! Damn it. Well, we'll keep going, see what happens. We found multiple shops, so it stands to reason there'll be multiple healer people, maybe? Uh, and this cheat code does throw you on the second level. For those not in the know. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get rid of the eggplant, please. Thank you. I mean, those seem to be pretty close to where the eggplanty guys are, so... I don't see what old Xylo was complaining about. Throwing one off screen. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's throwing them off screen. That's fine. I would like to fight a boss. But again, no idea where I'm going, so. Okay. I need to watch his let's play of this game. And you should too! Lowbiasgaming.net I do feel like he should have a double jump? Maybe? I mean, this game came out before double jump was like a thing, but... Just like a little flutter, you know? <gasps> Okay. Oh. Okay. Is this the starting room? Feels like it. I don't know. They all look the same. Yeah, again, this is like a game you need to know where to go. I mean, obviously, you can just kind of bumble around like I'm doing. You figure it out. Whew. Haha, <laughs> take the damage and not get hit with the eggplant. Um, for like videos and stuff, this is not a game to do blind. You know, and that's not to be said that games like this can't be kind of intuitive on where to go. Because, like, Samus 2... I think I've been here. I think I'm going in a big circle. Um, anyway, Metroid 2, Samus Returns, like... It's pretty intuitive on where to go. We used to play that on the Super Game Boy. Yep. I like Smouse too. Never played the Super Smouse though. Jade says I am missing out on the Super Smouse. He wants me to play it with him one day. Maybe. I kind of want to try give Axiom Verge a try too. Which I do own, so. Ooh. Sometimes the arrows don't register. All those guys, I don't. I don't know if I'm hitting through their hitbox or what. Oh! Oh, come on. I 
Oh, there we go. That's the sweet spot. Ugh. Nope, can't reach it. Can't reach it! This uh, video might look a little weird. I don't know. I tried to set it as best I could without there being an ugly ass white bar on the bottom of the screen, so if it looks a little weird, then fine. And Eostopia can't really, like, be set to anything, so. Kind of annoying. Or if it can, it doesn't, like, auto set. Just kinda drag and drop, hope for the best. Yeah, so, if you want to be invincible, <coughs> and have the treasures from, let's see, begin on level 2-4 with invincibility. Weird thing is you already have the sacred treasures from the second and third fortress, but not the one from the first, according to random website that I googled to make sure I was remembering the uh, password he gave right instead of trying to find it in the podcast again so I didn't like place mark where he said it um yeah, I'm going to say I'm going in circles. Oh no. I feel like this room should... I like how you can duck and just be an eggplant. I feel like this room has something going on. Me. I mean, that's pretty unique. The being turned into an eggplant thing. Don't think any other games were turning you into plants. It does beg the question of how he climbs the ladders while he's an eggplant, though. So many one-eyed boos. And pencils! Oh, and dead ends. I wonder if you can hammer through those. Right? Like these blocks right here? I also feel like I should be able to jump on those guys. Cause Mario. Okay! I am curious. That music's not too bad. Now we're gonna see how you're supposed to properly play this game. Oh no! Um. That noise is a noise I associate with, uh. Oh, the movie with the DeLorean. Back to the Future 2. That game. Believe it. Like, just that sound. For whatever reason. I don't know why. When I hear it, that's what I think. Oh, that's neat. So... Have oh, those guys look awesome. I don't understand the hate. 
Maybe because they knock you off and it. it's really annoying. I can see that. They're not... I mean, most enemies were on stage one, but most enemies... Okay. You can be dying in one hit, so... And apparently that power-up turns everything into hammers. Magical hammers! Uh, we'll go left. Sure. Did I goof? Should I have gone right? Oof. I mean, the sprites in this game are pretty great. I don't know what the hell that thing is. It's horrifying, though. Oh no! Way too many things on screen. And we died. I'm finished! Aww. There's a password. But yeah, I mean... It doesn't... Not too bad. I mean, I just kind of died stupidly there, so... There's that, but... I wouldn't say it's a terrible game. But, I guess... I'm a little different than your average youngster. Having, you know, grown up with an NES and everything. <laughs> or as my dad called it, the no friendo. Hell, he even calls PlayStations Nintendos, so I mean, there you go. That's that's kind of where we're sitting with that. Mm-hmm. I think I did it again. I did do it again. I should have went right, because death is a jerk. Ow. Don't hit me. I think I got a sneak by him. Oh! Jerk. Oh! Almost had it. Blech. Almost dead. Um, sure. There was a potion right there, too, that I missed. Because I saw a door. I've got five hammers. I can't. You said hammers. Oof. Huah! 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 I mean, the jumping isn't bad, by any means. Oh, I can just do this. Because that's a thing I can do. You can probably kill him, too. Right? Like, you gotta be able to kill him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about what I'm talking about. Turn around. Turn around. I mean, I'm pretty sure this game, like, already has more enemies than Metroid does. <laughs> Aww. Hey, we got a new password. Alright, I think that's long enough for this little experimentation. He said to try it, so I'm trying it. I mean, he told you guys to try it, but 
I'll be your guinea pig. That's fine. Also kind of want to, like, not screw up the, uh, little pathway here for once, and just kind of see how much easier life is. Oh. You jerks! I've at thee! And death. Well. Yeah. Call, call it good. Whee! I like how... Weird, ridiculous one-off game. And they're like, yo. Metroid. Metroid. Super Smash Brothers. That's what we need to put this guy in. Okay. I believe there was a sequel to this. So, probably not as one-off, so I'm thinking. I would like to know what the deal with- I'm, like, gonna go watch that Let's Play right now. Because I'm sure he explains everything, right? Maybe. Depends. Jason's commentary has changed. I mean, we all kind of evolve and change over time as commentators. That's the thing you do, don't you know? Alright. Go right this time. Yay! Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh no! Flying mice! They kinda look like Pikmin, actually. Or like, flying radishes or something? I don't know. What are you supposed to be, dude? Oof. Oof, that was close. Ah! Ah! I don't like that I can't look up and jump, I gotta jump and then look up. There's one thing I will say I do not like. There we go. Ahaha! <laughs> I looked up at just the wrong time. Yeah, I mean, it's not... it's not a bad... And the music stops when you pause it, which is great. It's not a bad little game. Apparently, you can start the final level with all the items and stuff and get a strange ending if you type in the password kid kid icarus kid kid icarus you can also type in danger all exclamation points terror horror and get the same effect I want to try this room again. Or not. <laughs> Alright, well that's going to be it for me on this.